Hello guys, today we are going to talk about how you can use SUMIF or SUMIFS function in an Excel file. This function is basically used to do the total of a range based on the criteria. When we use simple sum, it total ups the entire range. But when we have some kind of criteria, it could be date, it could be text, it could be numbers. You can use this function to get the total and you can put your criteria. My name is Kapil. I'm your instructor and I'm going to explain this function with different examples. If you want to connect with me and if you want to learn more about Excel, just subscribe my channel and you can check out below description for more information. Let's start. So here I have sales data from one of the company and uh, you can see it is listed date wise and i have sales rep in b column and country listed in c column and sales volume is listed in d column now i want to get the total of david kathy and brian so i can use sum if or sum if as function so if you are using sum if function you can use only one criteria in this function but if you have some if s function you can use multiple criteria and you can get the total so let's do it for one criteria at this moment so you need to write some if then range range is the criteria range so in the sum if it is mentioned range okay so if it is mentioned as some range it means that you need the numbers range can be text can be date or can be number okay so i'm just putting this range I can freeze this range by pressing F4, then comma. Criteria. Criteria is that what you want to calculate. Okay. So here I want to calculate all the sales related to David. So I'm putting in the inverted comma David. If you want to link this particular argument with the cell, you can just click on this. Okay. Then you need to put comma sum range. Sum range is the sales volume column. Okay, because I want to know the total sales made by David. So I'm just uh, pressing F4 to freeze this range and then pressing enter. Now you can see this is the total sales made by David. So let me do this for Kathy. So here you can see the number is not changed. The reason is because I have used David in the inverted comma to play with this function dynamically. You can just link the cell and then press enter. Now you can see it is showing 28688 sales made by Kathy. Now I'm using SUMIFS. In the SUMIFS, you will see different range. Some range will come first. Some range was coming as a last argument in SUMIF. So some range. Some range will be this sales volume. Then you can put criteria range, then criteria, criteria range 2, and then criteria and so on so you can use multiple criteria it will work in the same sequence criteria range one will be this sales rep column i can fix this by pressing f4 uh, let me fix this range also by pressing f4 then let me go back now put comma now you can see criteria one is highlighted so here either i can write in the inverted comma brian or i can link the cell brian now I'm pressing enter. Now you can see it has calculated the sales. So that is how you can use sum if or sum if as function. If you want to use multiple criteria, let's do it for one example. You need to use sum if as. Then sum range will be this sales volume column. You need to freeze this by pressing F4. Then criteria range one will be B column, sales rep column. Then pressing F4. Then criteria one. Criteria one, uh, because I am in the sales rep, either I can write in the inverted comma or I can link this cell, David. Then comma criteria range two. Criteria range two will be this. Okay. Then you can link it with the country and then you can press enter. Now you can see that it has calculated the sales made by David in Australia. That is 6400. Now let me explain this uh, freezing the range. So we need to freeze these ranges because that works more accurately when you are freezing the range. So here you can see F8 is not freezed and G8 is also not freed. So you can see F is the sales rep column and G is the country column. 
so i should freeze the column only not the row okay eight is the row g is the column here also i need to freeze f column then i should press enter now i can drag it to the down now you can see it has calculated four six eight three four kathy here i want to tell you one very important point so right now i am using the entire range okay like d entire d column i have selected okay if i select uh, b column uh, so you can see b column is entirely selected so what i need to remember so suppose if i am using a very defined range like d2 to d900 something like that if i press enter you can see it is showing me the error so why it is showing me the error i want to tell you that whenever you are using sum if or sum if s you need to make sure the criteria range and the sum range all should follow the same method so it is starting from the same row it should be ending at the same row okay so here i should mention 2 900 then again 2 then 900 then press enter now you can see it is working fine right now i was using vertical ranges so if you are using any horizontal ranges then your horizontal direction should also match for all the criteria ranges and some range hope you understood this if you have any question you can just comment here and i will answer your question one thing i want to tell you if you are not aware of these uh, freezing ranges or absolute or relative cell reference you can just visit my website and you can just check out the below description to know more about absolute and relative cell references now i am going to calculate sum if or sum if s based on the dates okay so let me put sum if as then sum range sum range will be my sales volume then criteria range one criteria range one will be my country so this is the country column then criteria one is australia then criteria range two is my date column then here i need to put the criteria two what i want to check here that i want to calculate the sales made in australia between these dates okay first of january 20 till 31st january 20 so what i need to do i need to use the logical operators here in the inverted comma you need to mention the more than or equal to sign like this and then you can connect this logical operator with the from date by pressing and symbol then first january 20 then you can just put comma then you need to select the criteria range 3 again again this will be the date column okay then you need to press comma now you can see criteria 3 is highlighted now you need to put criteria 3 criteria 3 will be 31st january 20 but here again i need to use logical operator that will be the lesser than sign equal to then inverted comma again and then and symbol now i'm connecting this with this cell i can write this date in the inverted comma here if you want to use that but i would always recommend that you use the date from the cell reference because if your date is not correct you can see the error okay so right now my system is set up on the ddmmyyyy format so you should always remember your dates are correct and date cell are in the date format now i am just pressing enter now you can see between these date this is the sales okay now when i will be dragging this so you can see it is showing zero why so let's understand this you can just select this cell press f2 you need to activate the edit mode and then you can see that my range is my criteria are selected as country as sales volume the reason is because i didn't fix the ranges so let me do this you can see the dates are in the 12th row so i need to fix this 12th row dollar sign here also i need to put dollar sign and now i can press enter and when i press ctrl d you can see that it has calculated the sales so you need to remember these small things whenever you are using formulas 
I will be creating a separate video where you can learn about what things you need to take care while copying and pasting formulas. Okay. Now I'm going to explain you that how you can use the conditional text criteria in this formula. So what I need to do, I need to put some if s. Now here you can see some range. I need to select some range then comma. Now my criteria range one. So here these three cells are denoting the country. Okay. So it is just for example. So Singa, you can see Singa means that it is for Singapore, but I want to show you that how you can calculate it based on the conditional text statement. So whenever your text is starting from something and you want to calculate the total for that particular condition, how you can do that? You need to select the range where you want to look up your conditional text statement, then comma. Then you can see criteria one is highlighted. So I'm just selecting this cell and I know that if anything is beginning with this text, I want the total for those text. Okay. So I'm putting and sign then in the inverted comma, I'm putting a star symbol and then bracket off. Now you can see it has calculated all the sales where it found that country is starting from S I N G A. Okay. Now here I want to give you one more example like states. Okay. But uh, let me go back to this formula here. I want to know the sales for David. So let me select this criteria range two. then David. I need to select in the criteria two, and then can press enter. So you can see that David has made three nine seven nine sales in S I N J means Singapore. I want to tell you that you do not need to follow a particular sequence for the criteria. You can put it here and there, but you need to remember that you are using it correctly. Now here I'm going to calculate the sales where the country name is ending with states. Okay. So let me use some if s then some range will be my D column criteria range is my C column and then in criteria uh, because it is ending with so I need to use start in the inverted comma then and symbol then I need to select this. Okay. So because it is ending with so I need to put the star symbol at the beginning. Okay. Then I can press enter. Now I can see this is the sales. Now let me put uh, one more criteria criteria range to the sales rep then the David then I can press enter. Now I can see this is the sales. Now when you have a text like contains, okay, so how you can calculate that sum if s, let me copy this formula. You can copy this entire formula, copy it and paste it here. Now what I need to do, I just need to change this criteria because it is showing me the uh, contains. So I need to use contains statement. So what I can do, I just need to remove H18 and I need to link this to this I18 and then use and symbol again, inverted commas star. So at the beginning and at the end, you need to put star if you want to use contains text statement. Okay, then you can press enter. Now you can see the result. You just drag this formula. Uh, but here you can see uh, G18. Okay, it is containing the country. So you need to fix this range 18. Okay, here also you need to fix 18. Here also let me fix 18. Now you can see the sales made by Kathy in different countries. Okay, some if is not uh, case sensitive. So like you can see it is using Stral, which is Australia and uh, here Stral is mentioned in lower case, but here it is mentioned uh, at the proper case S is capital here S is smaller. So it is not case sensitive. So hope you understood uh, this. If you find an issue, you can just comment here. I can give you some more information about this if you want to use logical operators. So just look at here. So if you want to use greater than sign, you can use uh, like this greater than and cell reference. 
uh, here is the example lesser than you can use this and uh, greater than n equal to can be used like this let me add one more statement here not equal to so if you want to use not equal to what do you need to do just use lesser than and greater than sign in the inverted commas and link it with the cell reference so that's how this not equal to can work it covers all the criteria. you can use this for text you can use these like uh, if your text is containing something star at the beginning star at the end in the inverted comma and in between you need to mention the cell reference and begins with uh, you need to mention the end symbol at the end uh, for ends with you need to put uh, the star sign at the beginning and then cell reference okay not equal to i already explained this so hope you like this video please do share this video with your friends and uh, give a like and do not forget to subscribe my channel let's get connected and learn more thank you